Scott McQueen, head of restoration at the UCLA Film and TV Archive. The heads and tails of reels are usually the most damaged. The sequence we're about to see here had just a remnant of the incoming reel 1B, and a line of dialogue was missing. We ported in the dialogue from the black and white version of the film, and we're fortunate then in finding 88 frames in a reel of fragments at the Library of Congress. That was enough for us to restore the scene with a little electronic frame extension, and that shot that was previously missing is now back. Reel 2A is a raw scan here of the Jack Warner print with the usual scratches and abrasions. Again, a real end that's been pretty badly hammered. Cinch marks. There's crackle, distortion, and noise in the soundtrack. We use notch filters to get rid of any hums. We did decrackle in sonic solutions, and then the DRS process helped us remove the debris and scratches. The whole thing was then color balanced and color corrected to keep the original design that Renahan intended. Normal flesh tones, the white medical costumes, the neutral colors of the lab, and then the green cross lights that he throws in for a moody horror effect. Is Dr. Haynes in a precursor of the Wax Museum wheelchair. This sequence is a very good example of Renahan lighting with white light in a completely neutral uh, earth tone set. The actors are wardrobed in black and white, no color effects anywhere. Being the end of a reel, it's badly damaged, blooping ink covering up old cue marks, scratches, debris, the sound is crackly. Here's the scene restored and stabilized. The uh, dirt has all been hand processed out with DRS tools. The sound has been cleaned and denoised. The changeover cues have all been cleaned and the scene looks as it's intended with proper timing for neutral colors, black, black and white wardrobe and neutral browns.